Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ricky. This is my channel, Ricky's Foods. So for today's video, we got something really simple. It's going to be super fast and it's going to be delicious. So we're going to be doing a spatchcock chicken. And, and for that, we're going to be using my Weber kettle for that. So it should be super quick. And we're going to be trying something new. So lately, I've been seeing a few videos on TikTok about people using mayonnaise as a binder. So I went online. I did a little bit of research. I saw a few videos on YouTube from like five years ago. So apparently using mayonnaise as a binder is not something new. Like people have been doing it for the past few years. I'm surprised I haven't done it yet. So for this cook, we're going to be doing that. So we're going to be using mayonnaise as a binder. And then I'm just going to use a new rub that I got on the chicken. So I'm excited about that. So last night, what I basically did was I cut the backbone of the chicken and then turned the chicken over and then I put salt all over the skin. I let it dry brine in my refrigerator for over overnight. So what basically what that's gonna do is gonna suck all that moisture out from the skin. So that's gonna help having a crispy skin on the chicken. So I did it last night. Today, all we're gonna do is just put a little bit of mayonnaise all over the chicken and then season it with, your, with my rub. And that's about it, guys. So like I said, it should be a really simple cook, super fast cook. With that being said, guys, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. I think I'm at 890 subscribers right now, so I'm almost at 1K subscriber. So I will appreciate if you guys will subscribe to my channel, help me get to that 1K subscriber goal that I have. And thank you so much for all the people that have supported me along the way. So in my channel, we just don't do barbecue. I love trying new dishes, new cooks. So if you're into that, consider subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, guys, let's get into this video. All right, guys, so here we have the chicken. We got the setup already. We got the mayonnaise. We got this new rub that I bought, which is um, it's called the Bandit Backyard Barbecue. And this is the Huckleberry Hog and Chicken Rub or Hand Rub. So one of my friends from Instagram, he's been using it on chicken. And the color that he gets out of this rub, it looks amazing. So I've been dying to try this on chicken. So, so this is the perfect cook for that. So basically what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna flip the chicken over to the back side first and I'm gonna season this side first so let's go ahead and start doing that right now so again guys we're using the backyard bandit barbecue huckleberry hog and hand rub so I'm just gonna season the backyard first don't be afraid to put too much rub on there all right that's looking really good right there all right, so now we're just gonna flip it over to the skin side and just go ahead and do the same thing. All right, guys, so one of the things I like to do when I season the skin side of the chicken, I like to loosen up the skin. So if you look over here, I just stick my fingers in there and just loosen the skin. So I'm just gonna grab my rub and season the chicken with that or the inside of the chicken. All right, that looks good. And just rub the rub all around inside there. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here with the thighs. Loosen, the, loosen up the skin and do the same thing. All right, so that looks good. Right, let's go over here. All right guys, so now that we got that done, it's time to use the mayonnaise. So I'm just gonna grab a spoon. I don't know if I'm doing it right. But I don't want to put a lot of mayonnaise because I don't want to clump the rub with it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of mayonnaise and just slather over the chicken. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so there's that. So now I'm just going to put it all over the skin. The, the wings too, don't forget about the wings. All right. I'll put a little bit more over here. So basically what the mayonnaise is going to do to the skin is going to help it get more crispy. So like I said, I dry brine it over now in the fridge with a little bit of mayonnaise. So that's going to help get the skin even more crispy. But we'll know later on after the cook and see how it looks. So right now, I'm happy with that. So like I said, I'll put mayonnaise all over the chicken, the skin side of the chicken. 
So now I'm just gonna layer it with more rub. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, guys, so that's it. So we got the chicken already seasoned up, ready to go. And now all we have to do is just turn on the kettle. So let's go ahead and start doing that right now. guys so before i put the chicken inside the kettle i want to talk about my little setup right here so i'm using the vortex and as you can see it's filled up with some charcoal and then i have a chunk of cherry right there i love cherry wood with um, when i'm cooking chicken and then on this side which is the indirect side this is where i'm gonna put the chicken right here and then i'm using the import for channel today so i can monitor the temps of the kettle and i can monitor the temps of the chicken right here which i'm gonna put the probe on the thickest part of the chicken which to me is the chicken breast so i'm about to put this chicken inside the kettle so let's go ahead and do that right now all right guys so here, here we have the chicken inside the kettle already so like i said i'm gonna put the probe on the thickest part of the chicken right here on the chicken breast and then i'm just gonna let this chicken go all the way up to once it's so once it reads 160, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out, let it rest. By the time it's done resting, it's gonna be around 165. So I'm gonna try and keep the temperature at around 275, 300, 320, I'll be happy with that. It's kind of windy, so I'm gonna have to play with the vents, but that's about it guys. So I'm gonna put the chicken right here. I might put, if you see over here, it's too close to the fire. So I might put like a, a aluminum foil over here so I can protect the, the right side of the chicken but we'll see right now so i'll see you guys back in about 30 minutes when i come back up here and check on the chicken so see you then all right guys so it's been a little bit over an hour so it's time to check on the chicken so if, if you come over here the chick or the kettle is running at 335 and the internal temperature of the chicken and the chicken breast it's, we're sitting at 136 so let's go ahead and chicken the chicken to make sure that the skin is not drying out or it's not burning up. So let's go ahead and open this up. And it's looking really good guys. And I did put the uh, aluminum foil over here. That way my wing didn't burn up over here. But so far it's looking good guys. I'm not even gonna spritz this or nothing like that. It's looking good like this. So I'm just gonna close this back up until it's done. So it's probably gonna be done in about half an hour or more. So when it's done, I'll see you guys back in a bit. All right guys, so the chicken is finally done. It has an amazing color. So if you come over here, right now the chicken's sitting at 166. Well, that's because I was staring at it. I was taking pictures, so the temp went up to 166, but it's all good. So if you look at the chicken over here, the chicken is nice, it got a nice color. It's really crispy, I'm amazed. So, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the skin is really crispy, right? Right, Elijah, look, touch it. Right, Papa, it's crispy, right? Say crispy. Crispy. All right, so like my son said, the chicken is nice and crispy. So now, all I'm gonna do is just take, take it off from the kettle, let it rest for about 10, 15 minutes, and then, we're gonna come back outside over here and then we're gonna carve this chicken up. So I'll see you guys back in about 15 minutes until we let until we let this chicken rest. So I'll see you guys back in a bit. Okay, ready? Okay. Alright guys, so it's been about 15 minutes and I'm ready to carve into this chicken. So like I said, the chicken looks really really good. So one of the benefits about doing a Spascock chicken is that it's easy to carve. It's easy to take off the legs, the wings, the the breast so that's one of the benefits so if you come in over here chicken looks phenomenal I love the color that the rub gave the chicken and let's go ahead and carve into the chicken I know my baby boy is ready you ready Papa all right guys so let's go ahead and take off these thighs over here it should be simple still kind of hot so excuse me for that so look at that guys really juicy 
the skin is really crispy too. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's really crispy. Again, I dry brine this overnight and I use the mayo. So probably next time, if I want to try the mayo, I'm just gonna use the mayo and not dry brine it overnight. So we can like really compare into it. So let's carve into this wings. The wings, you can just pull them off, it's that tender. And that's the wings, this is the best part. I love the wings. Let's go ahead and take this one off over here. And let's go ahead and cut the breast in the middle. Just like that. And let's grab a piece, guys. I think I'm ready for a bite. You wanna you wanna bite? Yeah? Okay. So one for me, one for my son. Look at that guys, really juicy. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at all those juices just flowing. Really juicy. So let's go ahead and cut a piece. Here, this is for you. It's hot, okay? A ton of for your hand. Grab it, grab it. You grab it. Okay. A little smaller. All right, guys. So here's a piece of the chicken breast. And let's see how it tastes. Wow. Wow, guys, really good flavor. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of heat in there. Overall, the rub is really good. So I'll definitely be using this more often when I make chickens. I'm happy with the cook. So a little quick recap of what we did. Uh, we got this chicken, a whole chicken, cut the backbone and then we let it dry brine overnight with just salt we added mayo and then we added the rub and when it and went into the kettle at 350 the kettle was running around 350 for about an hour and a half and you come out with this delicious chicken so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure to subscribe to my channel like i said in the beginning i'm almost at 1000 subscribers so if you guys can help me out with that i would really appreciate it guys so leave me a comment below let me know what you guys think if there's any cook you guys you guys want me to try out just let me know in the comments any questions about this cook let me know in the comments and like always guys i'll see you in the next video you guys stay blessed and reeky out <laughs>